In this chapter, I will try to illustrate how you could combine several things, how to apply some concepts covered in this guidebook and some licks that you might already know from my True Fire course, 50 Gypsy Jazz Licks You Must Know. The best thing about learning idiomatic licks is that you can apply them to every chord or progression that is similar to the one that it was originally played over. Just glide and slide to the position with the right chord root note and play the same line. However, a solo is not just putting together some licks, but it can help to force you to play in a certain style, in this particular case the gypsy jazz guitar style. Don't forget, it is you who has to make your solos, your variations, your improvisations, which includes the choice of the notes, how fast the lick or run is executed, the use of different rhythms, the choice of playing a whole lick, half the lick or only one or two notes, etc. Don't forget, we are playing jazz and we improvise and make variations with the musical language of gypsy jazz. All players in this style share a common language, but we should attempt to improvise in this style, not just repeat our memorized licks ad nauseum. Quoting a beautiful poem doesn't make you a poet. This might help. Consider a lick as a scale of notes, which is already applicable as a nice phrase without having to alter anything. It is up to you to use it in a creative way, to change it, to play it in another way around, reverse the order of the notes, repeat some notes, do something rhythmical, etc. etc. One, two, one, two, three. <laughs> It is you who has to execute the phrase with the right technique and get the gypsy jazz sound. In my opinion, some great creative players are Christophe Lartieu, Serge Krief, Birelli Lagrène in a contemporary way, and Fabi Lafertin more in a traditional way, and of course Django himself. Another tip, it is not necessary to play many notes. Rather play a bit less, but well articulated and well timed. Learning from these etude solos can help you realize that this style is easily accessible once you start to understand some of the idiomatic concepts and licks. Just practice, understand these basic elements, and there you go. The more you master the idioms of this style, the more you will sound like a gypsy jazz guitarist. This is not a guarantee that it will sound good, but you will be heading in the right direction. <laughs>